as Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss prepare to become the next potential prime ministers, Boris Johnson and number 10 are becoming over defensive and it's a bit embarrassing. Seriously, I don't understand who's in charge of uh, the spin machine at this point because it's not looking good when you're too defensive. When Downing Street, number 10, the main machine, when they brief the, the papers and the press, when they try to, of course, you know, defend themselves against the rumor, the first lesson is don't defend yourself by defending yourself. It's just embarrassing. Right now, they think that considering Liz Trust and Rishi Sunak are the two main kind of contenders in terms of rumors, of course, of course, rumors that they might be the next leadership contenders. Um, Downing Street right now, the, the main focus should just be for Boris Johnson to regain his power and influence to become that good leader and good prime minister. Just focus on that. Don't try to brief the papers against these two by calling them names. They've come out to call them pathetic. That's not really a good look because when you you know, brief the papers and say that it's a number 10 Downing Street source saying it and then you call your own colleagues pathetic, it's not a good tactic or strategy even if it's long term. So basically there's turmoil in Downing Street right now. There's big, big division and they pretend to be united because that's how the Tory family always work as opposed to the Labour side when they come out publicly and attack each other. Rishi Sunak is obviously undermining Boris Johnson's narrative uh, with coming out to oppose lockdown policies and, you know, be the good cop against bad cop. Liz Truss is also obviously trying to do self-promotion. Boris Johnson doesn't really know how to uh, tackle this. And by Boris Johnson, I mean his whole, the whole team. They've come out to talk about what happened a couple of days ago, the cabinet meeting that they had, the emergency cabinet meeting that lasted ages. It was a long meeting uh, and uh, to discuss the potential lockdown and eventually they decided not to do lockdown for Christmas uh, because there were opposition inside the cabinet. Downing Street sources come out to tell the press saying that, well, we're surprised that certain people like Liz Truss have come out to publicly brief the media that uh, she opposed them because the, the debate we had was very calm and soft and you know, it was like nuanced and you know, there was no clash, everything was fine. The thing is, that might be the case. It might have been very soft. It might have been, you know, full of nuance. Just don't brief that to the papers. It's too defensive and it's just too sad. To be, it's like that kid who's, who's actually not really bullying someone at school and then to come out to defend themselves by saying, I promised me, I promised I did not uh, bully anybody. It's just, you just make yourself look even worse. That's the problem. Second issue I have with this story is that do not call your own colleagues names. You're not the Labour Party. We don't do things like this. You know, we call you names. You can't call yourselves names. So there's that source that they have, Downing Street source, come out to say that, well, we understand Rishi Sunak's position and Grand Shafts when they oppose lockdown because they have sectors and industries uh, to look after. And, uh, you know, even quasi and, you know, people in business in terms of the business department and the treasury, then they decided to target Liz Truss because uh, they, they have a problem with libertarian conservatives. They said, well, we understand, obviously, yeah, Richard Sunak is chancellor, you know, quasi, Grand Chef, they care about business, transport. Uh, Liz Truss, less so. We don't understand what industries is she trying to protect. It smells like she's trying to he heavily position herself as a conservative libertarian. It reeks of desperation and it's all a bit pathetic. That may be so. That may be the case. Fine. Yeah, self-promotion. That's what she's doing. Did you just say that you don't know what industry she's trying to protect? You are in government. You do know how you, your cabinet actually operates. She's in charge of right now post-Brexit Britain. So technically, almost all industries. Specifically, when it comes to trade, uh, she was until now also obviously just in charge of trade negotiations anyway. So she's responsible for trade industries, all industries, business. And even now, especially now with post-Brexit Britain and fisheries, you say what industries does she care about? It's literally under her portfolio. And when it comes to as, as foreign secretary, yeah, the one thing that she also cares about is our position on the international stage. If you want to attack Liz Truss, at least attack her properly, not on some fictional position. This is absolutely embarrassing the way we are actually doing politics. These kids, some of these kids like who are now advisors and civil servants who are basically advisors down the street, they're younger than me. They're in their 20s. And when I got involved with politics about 10, 11 years ago, these kids were just walking around, running around, being excited, taking selfies with ministers and MPs in, at Tory conference. Now they're running the government. 
And they look, look down on all of us, every single person you see walking around Westminster, have a drink at Red Lion. These kids are now so arrogant and self-entitled. You want to know who's running the government and the country? It's these kids. They have no idea how to do anything. And they're telling us what to do. And then they get drunk and break their own rules at Christmas parties. That's the reality. And we have to tell the truth. And that's why I'm here to do. Uh, do be objective. You could criticize Liz Truss on anything you want. Rishi Sunak as well. And Boris Johnson. But don't just randomly start fictional positions. That's the problem. Subscribe to the channel. We have more updates for you throughout the day. I'm Maya TC. And we are the media.